Hello, I'm Courtney Billington, president of Janssen Neuroscience, and I'm here today to share with you what I believe are five key tips to having success in the pharmaceutical industry. My first tip is always keep patients first. If you, no matter what role you're in, no matter what you do in the organization, find ways to connect with patients' stories because it's those stories that will fuel you in tough times and in great times. And it's also the thing that will create the sense of urgency, the creativity that's gonna create innovation and high performance and the discovery of the latest new technologies. Second tip is you can't be afraid of failure. The failures that we have are actually the things that lead to the greatest success and discoveries that we have. And also too, it's during times of failure when we utilize those learnings that we grow the most as an individual as well. So I think failure uh, and not being afraid of doing that and making sure that we're learning is a key to success. Number three, you must have a thick skin. The pharmaceutical industry often come under great scrutiny. And you have to make sure that you stay focused on the importance of what we do to transform patients' lives. I'll give you a perfect example. HIV, back in the mid 80s, when it was first diagnosed, people who were diagnosed with HIV and living with that disease had a two year life expectancy. Today, the life expectancy is within a year to two years of that of a healthy individual. That is transformation. Also, when I think about the area that I'm in, in the space of schizophrenia, back again in the mid 60s and 70s, when an adult living with schizophrenia was diagnosed, they were institutionalized for the rest of their lives. Today, you can self-actualize, you can get a job, have a family, and pursue the dreams and wishes that you may want to have. So with that, you have this thick skin, but it can be ensured with the resolve that what we do makes a difference in people's lives. Number four, commit to continuous learning. We've got to be continuous learners. There's so much change. The speed of change that's going on around us is tremendous. And if we're not committed to continuous learning, we're going to let things pass us by. And we may not be able to take advantage of the opportunities for the next great improvement. And finally, the fifth key is innovation. Innovation is the lifeblood of this industry. If we're not coming up with new latest discoveries, we know that patients are waiting, family members, caregivers, for a solution to some of the most difficult diseases that are out there. And we have to have a thirst for innovation so that we can continue to solve some of the world's most difficult challenges when you think about diseases and providing greater health care for those who need it. Hopefully these five tips have helped you. They've certainly been key bastions of success for me, and uh, hopefully you get a lot of great use from it. Thank you.